Good morning, namaste. It's Leanne Peters here from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to share some guidance for Monday, Monday the 19th and Tuesday the 20th of November. So I trust that you're feeling good and things are flowing well for you and that you've had a good weekend and a good week since I've been away. So we're clearly back home now and um, I've been unpacking and lots of washing to do and lots of sorting out and catching up to do. So it's been busy but very nice to be home. Hello Sandra. Hi Kismet, one of our top fans. Lovely to see you. Judy's here, one of our top fans as well. Hi Judy. Hi Valentina, a top fan. Shoshana says good morning. You're back home. Hope you feel well rested. Certainly do. Thank you. Hi Linda, one of our top fans. Oh yes, we had a lovely break. Thanks. Hi Camilla, a top fan. Kismet says you look so radiant and beautiful. Oh thanks Kismet, that's a beautiful thing to say. Hi Clarissa. Good morning Sandy, one of our top fans from California. Lovely to see you. Good morning Clarissa and Dolores is here. Lenique, I trust I pronounce your name okay. Welcome. Hi Tony, one of our top fans. Helen's a top fan. Hello to you. Alma's also a top fan. Alma says good to see you. Hope you had a great time. Welcome home. Thank you. We did have a wonderful time. Hi Rosemar Rosemary. Kelly's here. Kelly says was just thinking about you and look forward to your guidance. Thanks Kelly, who's also a top fan. Thanks everyone, lovely to see you. Uh, extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family, and all of those of you who do support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. Your support helps me be able to do my work full time and to be able to bring these sorts of videos out to you and others. So thanks so much for your support. Also extra special welcome to my Facebook top fans who have the little top fan star above their name, like Alison, who I can see now. Hi, Alison. Um, to become a top fan is totally up to Facebook's discretion. <laughs> so um, it's, I'd say, based on your activity. So when you're watching videos, the more you're active on posts, um, the more likely you are to um, also receive a top fan status and maintain it because it will go if you um, don't maintain it so we've found out recently so thank you for for your support in whatever way that you can and are inspired to support my work it's so beautiful here it's actually been nicer weather here than it was camping which is funny <laughs> but uh, I'm coming to you live now from Tasmania Australia southeast Tasmania and it's Monday morning here at exactly 8.12 a.m. So welcome. If you're new to watching, welcome. Let us know, please, if you are new and um, then we can welcome you. What I'm going to be doing is using my combined Speed of Light Oracle cards with my Animal Kingdom Oracle cards combined. They've been joined together. Um, to create a 110 card deck. So this combined deck I'm going to use today and I'm going to be looking for the best card for Monday the 19th of November, the best card for Tuesday the 20th of November and then the best card for the theme for Monday and Tuesday. I'm not doing personal requests for guidance here today. This is general guidance for everyone. So I trust that you've been led here for a reason. Please take on board what feels right, what resonates, what makes sense to you and let the rest go. Do I have a streaming issue, Chelsea? I trust it's not my stream that's interrupted. <laughs> and I have a couple of new people to welcome. Welcome Elle. Welcome Tom. Lovely to see you. Welcome Hyman Nick. Welcome to you too and welcome to anyone else who's new who isn't saying hello. Welcome Christine who's also new and welcome to all of my regular viewers too. It's lovely to connect with you on this beautiful sunny morning. So I'm now shuffling the card. It's freezing a bit. Oh I trust it's not too bad. 
Okay, I'm shuffling the card. If this freezing is bad or not good <laughs> during the live stream, um, it may be better in the replay. So if it's annoying, just perhaps come back and connect with the replay if you want to. So I'm now looking for the best card for Monday the 19th of November. So that's Monday the 19th. Um, if it's not quite Monday for you yet, please refer back to my guidance um, for Sunday in Saturday's video. Um, so basically I'm just shuffling and I trust that the best card will find its way to the top based on what we need as a majority. So what the majority of us need at this time for Monday. So we have a Speed of Light Oracle card and this is our card. It's Gathering card 53. Its keywords say helping, ready, leader and meeting. So this might be quite literal for some of us on Monday. We might have a gathering, a meeting, a, a coming together of like minds for a common interest, a common hobby, a common goal, a common conversation. Um, and that sort of sense of coming together and congregating to um, converse, brainstorm, um, and perhaps... I get this feeling here of clearing the air or clearing our conscience in some way. So there might be something, there's a feeling here of something that we may have been um, thinking about or even concerned about recently that will have a chance to clear the air in some type of gathering or group. So this would be more three people or more, I would say, is what I would call a group. So a small group, large group, some type of group. Um, there's also another element of this card that talks about us. Oh, thank you for your patience. <laughs> if this stream has been temperamental. Um, there's an element of this card that talks about being a leader and stepping into our leadership role on Monday. So for this, for us personally, that, that may mean um, stepping in and taking our life um, perhaps more seriously or in implementing our ideas that we've been having lately or our thoughts on if I change this about myself or this about my life what effect will that have there's a sense of um, claiming our leadership role our responsibility in our own life on Monday and a lot of us have been thinking about things and have been inspired with new ideas and have been considering things from different perspectives and looking at things from um, and reaching new understanding so really thinking about how we can implement that now into our life and really uh, take our power back is the other uh, aspect of this card so see what stands out for you and what resonates and what makes sense. You won't need to force it to fit. It should make sense at this time if it's meant to, if it's guidance you're meant to hear. So that's that. <laughs> I trust that makes sense. Hi Zach, one of our top fans too. So now I'm looking for the best card for Tuesday the 20th of November. So after this live video stream, providing that it stays functioning okay, I'm actually going to hang out in our Pillar of Light group for a little bit and do a little bit of smudging and pull a healing energy card. So I'll be doing that pretty much straight away if you're in our Pillar of Light family. Just keep an eye out for that soon. So mm, Tuesday the 20th of November, I trust the best card for Tuesday is this from my new deck and it's the monkey the monkey's a very sociable animal so it's card 13 it's never come up in a video before so just bear with me in fact I don't think it's even come up since I've got my new cards in any of the readings that I've done even personally it says here cooperate so this cards um, let me just feel on this for a moment for Tuesday it might be helpful for us to work together and be cooperative on Tuesday. You know, um, moving with the river, with the flow. You know, sometimes our flow, our stream, the river that we're in of our life, 
our life's path. Sometimes it's quite straight, <laughs> but for the most part, it feels like it meanders and goes back and forth. And I feel like this is um, sort of the feeling that I get for Tuesday is for us to be cooperative and move with the movement and the flow, not only of our own stream, our own flow, our own path, but as we com connect with and interact with and cross paths with and come face to face with other people. And, and situations that present themselves. So there's this real feeling of meandering at the moment, especially on Tuesday, and moving with the bends and the twists and the turns and whatever presents itself in a cooperating, flowing way as best as we can. So on the opposite of that, let's be careful we're not um, too rigid, too stubborn, too controlling, too uncooperative, too resistant, um, on Tuesday and really think about how we can surrender to the moment and move with whatever is presented on Tuesday. So we might find uh, actually now I think about it for my Tuesday already we've already got uh, quite big things happening which are overlapping so it's probably going to be an interesting time balancing thing on Tuesday working around um, um, things that we've committed to commitments and flowing with that um, and syncing up because we can sync up with the movement of our life, our path, even when it's meandering. So the best thing to do might be to surrender our resistance, our need to control, our trying to be forceful and have our way be the only way or be too, um, you know, have our blinkers on, be too narrow minded, but expand that radar that I was talking about. Um, recently a few weeks ago and letting ourselves move with the, the ebb and the flow. So let's not get too impatient on Tuesday but be co as cooperative as we can. And there might be a social situation coming up too on Tuesday because the monkey is the sociable, is a sociable energy. Uh, <laughs> excuse me while I trip over my tongue. Um, is a sociable animal um, so there is a sociable element to this so we might find we're quite um, our meandering path and cooperating on that path might involve other people so just keep that in mind if it resonates with you for Tuesday so monkey if you have a special connection with monkey or if monkey's been showing up quite a lot for you in the last in the last couple of days then it may be worth exploring monkey's medicine that so the energy of monkey as a totem a little bit more deeply so thank you now i'm looking for the best card for the theme so the theme card will help us see the bigger picture and bring these days together so we're looking at the bigger picture the theme for monday and tuesday so there's already kind of a sociable gathering coming together with people sort of feeling so if you're weighing up whether to stay at home or whether to go out and interact or be involved with something you might be uh, thinking about being involved and interacting sometimes the easy choice is to stay at home <laughs> Or to stay back, especially if we're feeling a bit antisocial at the time. But sometimes it can be to our benefit to step out and push past that antisocial resistance and see what we can learn and grow um, from those social situations. So there's already a theme of um, gathering social sort of energy around. But let's look for another card or a card for the theme for Monday and Tuesday. And we'll go with this card here. It's a Speed of Light Oracle and it's the Abundance card, Elementals, card 30. It says Blessings, Abundance, Prayers and Opening. This brings a really beautiful lightness, abundant energy to um, the energy <laughs> for our days on Monday and Tuesday. So this is a sense here of feeling perhaps in an abundant flow. So when we're in the flow, like I said, of our river, whether it's going straight or whether it's meandering right now, which it most likely is for a lot of us, we can still be in abundance because that flow and being in it, fully um, participating in or, or embodying 
or journeying in, traveling in within our personal river, our personal flow is an abundant flow. It's an abundant movement. It's an abundant riv rhythm or river, <laughs> I guess I was going to say. So abundance is around. So if you've been feeling lacking in abundance, if you've been feeling that you don't have the money that you need, that your finances are struggling right now, or things just don't seem to be going well or right, or or you feel a bit jagged on your path, a bit um, stuck behind obstacles, or things aren't moving well for you, then you're being really encouraged to open up, because there's an opening energy in this card, open up to the abundance that is present. So one of the best things you can do to do that is to look at the things in your life and the people in your life to appreciate, to be grateful for. Sometimes things are more in the flow and more in abundance than what we realize or what we see. So it could be a perspective thing. So if you're struggling with abundance or if you want to align further with it, then I really uh, recommend, if you're inspired to, to practice your genuine gratitude. So look at things that you're genuinely grateful for, that perhaps you have a little bit of money in your wallet. Maybe you have a work shift this week or today. And that's something to appreciate, especially if you're looking at bringing more abundance in. Then be grateful for the work that you are getting. Be grateful for the money that you do have in your wallet or in your bank account, even if it's only a small amount. Be grateful for the debt that you maybe don't have or that you're working on um, shrinking. So there are things that you can be grateful for rather than looking at what's missing from the money in your wallet or, you know, that you would like more, but you've only got let, or you've got a small amount. So be grateful you've got a small amount. A lot of people don't have that. So there's a lot to appreciate that um, connecting with abundance specifically. So we have a roof over our head, perhaps being grateful um, for comfortable clothes to wear, food to eat, smiles and happiness with the people that we love, that we have a car to drive or transport nearby, that we have legs that we can walk to work or walk somewhere. So there is a lot of things that we can strip back and be and find genuine gratitude for that will help open us up and build our uh, synchronization with the abundance that is flowing in our life. Like, for example, uh, as an example of abundance, which is not money financial related, because it doesn't have to be, we can be very fortunate and, you know, it doesn't have to be financial related. But when we were away camping, there was such an abundance of animals and it wasn't all different animals. It was the same animals over and over again. So the wallabies, which are like a small kangaroo, you may have seen photos that I shared. Um, wallabies and their joeys, so their little babies, were everywhere. I mean everywhere. So the greatest wallabies, there was an abundance of them. Um, we noticed scorpions. <laughs> I know, not that pleasant of a thing to notice. But there wasn't just one scorpion. There was an abundance of scorpions. Only one night, thank thankfully. Um, there was an abundance of echidnas that we saw. We saw an abundance of cockatoos, of bumblebees kept following us around everywhere we went. And little willy wagtail birds, which are these small birds with a little uh, bright blue birds with a little, um, like a tiny little tail that they wag and they have this beautiful song. So we saw those in abundance and lots of other things. But what I was noticing about the animals, whether they were scorpions or um, jack jumpers or inchmen ants or um, beautiful wallabies or beautiful echidnas was that we saw them in abundance so when we notice what is in abundance that is a good thing or that feels good or that's crossing our path then we bring more abundance in so to tap into this theme energy of abundance over Monday and Tuesday let's uh, be open to abundance being present in our life so abundance in the form of opportunities, good health, good flow, perhaps finances, perhaps money, maybe savings we get when we go shopping, because that's an abundant thing. We've got a little bit more in our pocket than we planned. So that's a sign of abundance. So 
think about perhaps if you're inspired to what is abundant for you right now and how you can synchronize yourself up further with it or if you're feeling closed off to it see what or feel on what you can do to open up soften your attitude start practicing more gratitude perhaps to welcome more abundance in open up to it the more lacking we feel in abundance the more we're noticing what's missing abundance wise the more we close ourselves off so if a man was walking down our street with a sack of gold coins or a sack of food if we didn't have much food to eat or whatever the abundant thing might be but let's say a sack of gold coins representing abundance and he was just walking down the street offering it to whoever came out of their homes and and said I'm open I'm I welcome this thank you so much for this gift abundance doesn't have to be a gift but this is just an example and if we're inside our home rigid and stuck in lack and angry because we didn't have what we needed or our bank account was low or we were plagued with debt at this time or things just weren't well for us and we were closed off and caught in our thinking with this we might miss that man walking down the street offering handfuls of gold to us if we are open to the idea that abundance is moving by it is around us all the time then we might hear the jingling of coins and be curious or his call out to the people in the houses if we're stuck in our closed space we might not notice or hear so if we're open to hearing and we hear it and we follow that calling we step outside our door and there's this beautiful man offering us a handful of gold coins offering us abundance and he just represents abundance then um you know that's sort of another angle to look at this how open are you to receiving what you deserve and what you desire because it is there flowing by somewhere so be open to it and let it in so i am abundant i have everything that i need i'm grateful for what i have in my life right now and really meaning it so abundance is a great thing for monday and tuesday but we have to be open to it if we're closed off we're not going to notice it at all are we <laughs> do you notice that <laughs> It's so hilarious. Amy, you're hilarious. Amy says, how was your camping trip and your half birthday? You know what's really, really funny? I think it was you, Amy, actually the other day where I saw someone wishing me a happy half birthday because it's been exactly six months since my last birthday and I never really think about it. But you know what was really weird is my grandmother with dementia uh, rang me up on the 14th of November to wish me a happy birthday but I think she got confused with my date in May and my other sister's one of my sister's birthdays on the 16th of November but my grandmother left me a message wishing me happy birthday and Amy's wishing me a happy half birthday which I find hilarious so that those sorts of signs coming at me from different directions show me that there's probably a rebirthing that's happening within me um, for me to pay attention to because I'm getting that sign from different sources so I'm going to think on that and and sit with that so thanks Amy <laughs> um, so thanks for connecting everyone I've used my combined speed of light oracle cards and my animal kingdom oracle cards you can purchase these separately um, on my website if you're inspired to but they've been designed to go well together they don't have to but I love working with these together they're great fun so have a look if you want to learn more on my website at templeofbalance.com.au um, if you want to learn more about those decks. I've completely created them, illustrated them. They are my creations and, and um, design and they're so fun to work with. So have a look if you're inspired to. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you want to connect more privately, just send us a message through our website. Thank you so much. So I've got um, quite a lot of things to do today. Um, so my Pillar of Light family, keep an eye out for our current energy report coming later. Because <laughs> it takes me a couple of hours to write. And I haven't started yet because I was inspired to come and do a video straight away when I got up. So a bit later will be the report and our week three of our grounding theme 
so I'll be talking more about that in our email but I'll be hanging out with you I'm about to as soon as I finish this video I'm going over to my pillar of light uh, Facebook page which is a, a group so which is closed and I'll be chatting with you for a little bit and doing some smudging so I look forward to connecting with you then um, if you are inspired to look into becoming a pillar of light family member um, if you resonate with my work and you'd like to take your experience with it deeper then I highly recommend it so please just have a look on my website if you're inspired to and uh, see if it resonates with you so thank you um, if you want to learn more about me and the work that I do just visit my website at templeofbalance.com.au so thanks so much for connecting have a fantastic couple of days and I'll be back to share with you again soon. Um, if you're new to watching and you enjoyed this connection, please come back and connect with another video again sometime soon. So thank you and sending you lots of love from my heart to yours. Thank you and namaste.